Hey friends, my name is Cassidy or Magical Martini. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated background and bookshelf tour of my Disney and Harry Potter collections. I have done two bookshelf tours on my channel in the past before I painted the wall and added the two large Billy bookshelves. So I will link both of those down below in case you want to see how far my collection has come in the last two years because it has grown quite a bit since joining the Disney YouTube community. I have also been really active on my Disney Instagram at Magical Martini. So because of that, I have been gifted so many amazing items from my friends and my family and the rest of this stuff. I've just worked my ass off to be able to buy the things that I love and bring me joy. So I am definitely really excited to share it with you guys. I do have my collection kind of split up into a theme. So on this left hand side is primarily villains and then I do have a Harry Potter shelf right there. In the center, that's kind of Disneyland meets Pixar meets things that didn't really fit on any other shelf. And then this shelf is some of my favorite Disney movies and characters and sidekicks. So that is kind of how I have it organized. I did do a background makeover vlog where I painted the walls and Kyle built the two large Billy bookshelves from Ikea for me and then kind of put this whole new background together. So I will link all those videos down below. We are going to start. Let's say hi to Brutus. Hello, Brutus. How you doing? How you doing, good boy? All right. Let's start over in this corner. It's a little bit of an odd corner to film in. Um, I do have Christmas lights that go all the way around our office ceiling. I love the way that that looks on the purple. So coming over here, I have a large bulletin board that has photos and pins and ticket stubs from my last trip to Walt Disney World and on the Dream Disney Cruise. I do have a video that shows a close-up of this, so I will also link that. And then hanging off of that, I have my Wisdom Collection scroll with Pocahontas, Beauty and the Beast, Bambi, and Cinderella. Here is where my ring light lives when I'm not using it. And then hanging off of this is just a whole bunch of stuff. This is a Danielle Nicole um, Mrs. Potts and Chip saddlebag that my cousin Amanda gave me. This adorable Rex bag was given to me by my friend Dee over at All That Pink Disney Magic. Right here I have my medal from the Wine and Dine Half Marathon that I did last year. And then this crown bag has my candy from my rave days. Moving up. I have this cute little bag that Kyle gave me with Belle and then my Lotso hat that was gifted to me by my friend Heather over at the Sassy Cinderella. And then up top, there's just a little quote that says, life is too short to be anything but happy, which I felt was very fitting for my Cave of Wonders. So let's start at the very top with some of my plushies. On this side, we have a rainbow unicorn that I got from the San Francisco Disney store. Then my Lumiere Wisdom Collection, a black bear with a mini outfit on from Build-A-Bear. Then the wardrobe Wishable and Alien Remix Lotso and Raja. Then Moving down to my top shelf, which is The Lion King. Over here, I have another gift from Heather. The Lion King VHS was actually a pin case. So I have the pin with all my Lion King pins, but the case was just so too cute not to display. Then I have this adorable Luau Timon that came in the Lion King Funko box. And then a Hakuna Matata button from Collect Random. 
the Pumba Luau Pop from the Funko store in Hollywood. And then my Pumba backpack, I got on clearance at the San Francisco Disney store. Moving over is the Lion King 2 Snow Globe. This is one of my oldest and favorite pieces in my collection. I really love Lion King 2. I even named one of my dogs Kiara. And the detail on this is so cute. There's Rafiki in the top, Timon and Pumbaa in the front. And then on the back, um, Simba and Nala are there as well. And it plays Upendi. Then I have my small meditating Rafiki, Jim Shore, a Zazu mini that came in the Lion King Funko box. And then this is probably one of my favorite Funko's top 10 for sure. It is the glitter version of Mufasa, which kind of makes me want to cry, but is super sweet. And then in the back there, I have the popcorn bucket from the Lion King live action opening day. In that is a Pumbaa stuffed animal that has the voice of Seth Rogen in it. And then you'll notice throughout my shelves, I have some of these clear razors. I got a six pack off of Amazon. So if I remember, I will link them in the description box down below, but they're very easy to find and you will see them throughout my shelves. I love the different layers that it gives so that you can see things better. Moving down from the Lion King, we have my small tangled section, which I do hope to grow one day and the start of my beauty and the beast collection. So let's go over here to Rapunzel. That is a Ralph Breaks the Internet rock candy of Rapunzel. And then in the back there is a Miss Mindy figure that lights up with the lantern scene that Kyle gave me for Christmas. He also gave me this really cute Pascal Miss Mindy figure. Love that. I love that he is um, camouflaged as a flower. That's adorable. And then I have this beautiful Rapunzel pop. My favorite version of her is with her braided hair with all the flowers. So that's my little tangled section. In the back, I have my Belle and Beast Miss Mindy on another razor. And then this snow globe was given to me by my grandma a long time ago it is from bradford exchange so some of the paint like leaves a little bit to be desired honestly that's why i have cogsworth and lumiere on the other side because their face is a little tore up to be completely honest so i have it on this side plus there's like barely any merchandise of the wardrobe or plumette so showing them a little love Moving over in the back there is one of my first gym shores. It was given to me by my best friend, Hannah. And I love that that's the same scene as outside of the Lego store at Downtown Disney. That's really cool. And then in the front here, this is a limited edition 300 pin. And it's my only pin that has a stand. So I thought, why not display it? This is the Pop in a Box exclusive chip Funko Pop. And then that is a little Beauty and the Beast music box that was given to my given to me by my friend Mylene, who also created the channel artwork and my logo. Um, so love that and thank you so much, Mylene. On top, I have a enchanted rose. It was an ornament, but I just cut the ribbon off of it and um it lights up and I just like to display it in here. It also looks really cute. I think it kind of fits with the Beauty and the Beast VHS clutch that I have behind it that Nicholas from Disney Mertz gifted me. He actually donated a lot of money to the Armenia Fund and this was a gift that he received because of that and he gifted it to me. So thank you so much Nicholas for contributing to such an amazing cause and for giving me something that you knew I would love. Then we have my Bell Ralph Breaks the Internet Rock Candy. So that again is my Tangled and the start of my Beauty and the Beast collection. Moving down is my other Beauty and the Beast shelf. Over here, both of these Jim Shores, the Lumiere with Plumette and Cogsworth were given to me by Dee at All That Pink Disney Magic in one of our box swaps. 
the bell gym short in the back there was my first gym short ever it was given to me by my grandma a really long time ago and then i got this chip cup off of amazon and sticking out of the top of him is the beast wishable in the back there we have the life-size lumiere and cogsworth that i got from the parks as you can see lumiere does light up and Cogsworth would work if I put batteries in him, but I do not like the sound of clocks, so he does not have any batteries. <laughs> but I love that Lumiere's candles are, or candle is like flickering like a real candle. I think that's really cool. And then here, this mug is a stack of books and the Enchanted Rose. I got that from the Dream Disney Cruise. And then these two gorgeous Funkos are my two favorite Funkos in my whole collection. They're what made me want to start collecting Funkos. They made me fall down a really big rabbit hole and I'm not even mad about it. This bell is a diamond edition and Kyle got me both of those for Christmas one year, along with another one that I'll show you in a little bit. And then this is my Lumiere gym short that was given to me in one of my Bippity Boppity boxes. Then in the back here, we just have some journals, some books, and a really cute rose gold keychain of the enchanted rose with the beast. So that is the majority of my Beauty and the Beast collection. There's a little more that you'll see in a bit. Moving down to my second favorite princess, Jasmine. I don't want to call this an Aladdin shelf because I don't collect Aladdin. I collect Jasmine, Raja because he's one of my favorite sidekicks. Tigers are my favorite animal and I really love the magic carpet and the magic lamp so that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. Over here we have my Jasmine, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Rock Candy, and then Adorbs of Raja that Disney Nessie gave me. My Raja and magic carpet keychain that were too perfect not to put together that Nicholas gave me. That card holder is from Danielle Nicole. And then I got that picture frame from Box Lunch and put a photo of Kyle and I on our seventh anniversary at a luau in Maui. Then this gym shore is my favorite gym shore in my whole collection. Kyle gave it to me for my birthday last year and it is everything. <laughs> like if I could only pick five things in my collection to keep, this would definitely be one of them and that's kind of saying a lot. <laughs> Moving over, I have the Elephant Abu Funko Pop. Unpopular Disney opinion, I don't like Abu in his normal monkey form. I prefer him in elephant form because elephants are another one of my favorite animals. In the back is a beautiful Wonderground Gallery art print that I framed. I really love that art style. Then I found this adorable um, magic lamp at Evangeline's Costume Mansion in Sacramento. It was only like $4.99. I mean, it's just like cheap plastic, but I think it looks really cool. Then these are the first two pops that I ever got in my whole collection. I actually ordered Raja from eBay first and then went to Box Lunch and found this live action Jasmine. So I technically had her in my hands first, but I technically bought him first. So they're both my first. Then this magic carpet is actually a purse that Dee gave me from All That Pink Disney Magic. I just took the strap off of it and have them riding on a magic carpet. So that is my Jasmine and Raja shelf. Moving down, I have The Little Mermaid and Cinderella. So over here in the back is a stunning card that came in some magic mail from my friend Esmeralda. And then in the front here, I have the whole set of Cinderella pops. So there's the carriage, Cinderella in her mom's dress, and the fairy godmother, who is one of my absolute favorite Disney characters. I love her. She reminds me of my grandma. And then in the back there, that plaque says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And that was given to me by my friend's mom. 
And then moving over to this little mermaid section, Kyle gave me this Miss Mindy flounder for Christmas. And then in the front here, we have the Scuttle Funko with a dingle hopper and the six inch daddy in the back. And then in the front here, the kiss the girl scene, Funko Pop with Sebastian and Flounder. And I just have that sitting on top of a book, part of your world. And then in the back is a mermaid tail piggy bank. And I just thought that looked really cute kind of popping up out of the back. So that is my Little Mermaid minus Ursula and Vanessa because they're on the other side and Cinderella shelf. And then moving down, this is my planner stuff. If you didn't know, I am a planner girl. So this is some of my materials that I use, my traveler's notebook and my personal rings planners. Then I have my old bippity boppity box that just holds some who's it's and what's it's galore. Then I have my fairy godmother wisdom collection plushie. So that is the first shelf of my collection. Moving over to the wall, up top here I have a picture from the Thomas Kincaid calendar of Tangled. Um, I do have five of the actual 14 by 14 canvas prints from of different Disney movies from Thomas Kincaid. They are out in my living room. I have done a video showing them, so I will also link that. But this is one of the ones that I've always wanted, but I figured I have the calendar, just cut out the picture and frame it. So that's what I did. So I think that is so, so pretty. Underneath that, I have this personalized sign from Shameless Stickers that um, I plan on spray painting turquoise just so it bounces off the purple wall better. It stood out a lot more when I had the white wall, but now that I have purple, like you can see it here, but when I'm filming, you can't really read it. So I'm gonna spray paint it turquoise so that it pops. Moving over, I have my Gaston Villains set of stamps from 2017. And then moving down, this record villains clock was given to me by Kyle for Christmas one year, has a bunch of the villains on it. And again, I don't like the sound of clocks, so I just have it set at 420. So if you know, you know. And then over here, I have one of my only pin boards since I hold the majority of my pin collection in cases. So I'm gonna do a little close up. This is the Haunted Mansion Villains Stretching Portrait set. And I believe that was just an open edition. This beautiful fantasy pin is of Kiara and Kovu and Rafiki in the Upendi scene. It is a limited edition 40. But unfortunately, I don't know who the maker is. If you do know, please let me know in the comments down below. Then I have the character connections of Beauty and the Beast minus the Chasers. And I believe that's a limited edition of 900. And then this is one of my absolute favorite pins in my whole collection. It is Lewis from Princess and the Frog. It is a fantasy pin, sort of, part of the Sidekicks series from Double Trouble Pins. And um, it is a limited edition 25. And I just love how he has Mickey head beignets. Like everything about this pin is literal perfection. <laughs> Moving down, this is a monorail limited edition 750 jumbo pin that my best friend Hannah gave me a long time ago. And the doors do open and close. And then this is another fantasy pin of Vanessa in all three of her outfits. It's funny because she has such a short part in the movie, but she has three outfit changes. Anyway, this is a limited edition of 50. Then this, this piece right here. This is my favorite 
pin in my whole collection. It is a jumbo, like it's pretty, it's pretty massive. And it is a limited edition 500. My best friend Hannah actually found it at a thrift store and bought it for $5. And uh, she gave it to me. And so I just put it on a white canvas cause you know, snow, winter scene made sense. And it is the centerpiece of my whole collection cause it is one of my favorite things that I own. Then coming down to the top shelf of the smaller center shelf. And I have kind of a continuation of Beauty and the Beast. So my idea is that like villains meets favorite movies and you know, does it make sense? Um, goes with the pin up there and my frame, you know, I tried. So <laughs> over here, I have my nerdy bell pop that Disney Nessie gave me. And then both of my ear holders are from Shop Ear Magic. I highly, highly recommend them for these custom ear holders because great quality, great price, great customer service, they're amazing. So please check them out. I will link them in the description down below. This first one is my Beauty and the Beast one. It has a Mickey head base, says tale as old as time. And then it has the beautiful stained glass Beauty and the Beast fabric. And these are some of my favorite ears. And then in the center here, this Lumiere picture frame is from the Dream Disney Cruise. And that picture of Kyle and I is from the first day of the cruise. That was a huge thing for me. It was my number one thing on my bucket list to go on a Disney cruise. So goals, um, dreams coming true, you know, Disney magic. On this side, I have my Gaston Pop, which is the other one that Kyle gave me when he got me these two. So he also got me Gaston. And then this ear holder is the villains one. It's on a Minnie Mouse head base. Jeez, I literally just dusted. <laughs> and then some more of my favorite ears. So that is how the wall and that top shelf look. Moving down to the next shelf. This is kind of where Disneyland meets Pixar. So I'm gonna start over here. I have my Lotso Tiny Big Feet, my Esmeralda Pop, and my Rainbow Unicorn Pop. In the back, I have the Sleeping Beauty Castle Lounge Fly Mini Backpack with a plaque that says my happy place hanging off of it. Both of those were from Bippity Boppity Boxes. In the center, I have a pin picture frame that I got from the parks like 20 years ago or something like that with a photo of me and my best friend and pins and buttons all around it that remind me of her. Then I have my Lotso Shuffler, Vanellope Pop, little Eeyore Jim Shore that Kyle gave me for Christmas, Bing Bong Wishable, and Rainbow Unicorn Lounge Fly Mini Backpack that Bippity gave me in another box. So that is that shelf. Moving down, we have some Up, we have some Rex, we have some Disneyland, all of the things. So we'll start on this side again. This is a Up House picture frame from Box Lunch and I put a picture of me and Kyle from Lake Tahoe in it. Cute little snow globe of Minnie and Mickey, the alien remix of Doug, Party Source Rex that I got off of Amazon it did come with the hat, but I made the candy. Then in the back, we have my adventure book from Box Lunch and my pressed penny collection. Then this Disneyland snow globe is another one of my oldest pieces in the collection. The monorail does go around. I think it plays zippity doodah. You have Sleeping Beauty's castle in the center and then Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella. And then you have three of these other snow globes around. They have Chippendale, um, Jiminy Cricket, and Timon. Then in the center, you have the Fab Five minus Pluto. And they're just like tourists because all the way around is a bunch of different characters and rides. And then on the top, you have Alice. 
And then I just like to put my honorary citizen of Disneyland button in the front. Then in the back there, we have two wisdom collection cups, one from Pocahontas and one from Beauty and the Beast. Then the box lunch Earth Day exclusive Miko and Flit. And the only reason I kept them in the box is because I love the artwork on the box and I think it displays them better. Plus I like that it's made out of recycled material. Then in the front here, we have my Minnie and Daisy sleepover eating popcorn, Jim Shore. I found this at Hallmark and I was so excited because I saw this on Dee's channel and this just reminds me of me and my best friend, so I had to have it. And then this is one of my newest pieces. It is a Miko Brito figure. And that's the only Brito figure that I have, but I would love to get more. So that is that shelf. And then moving down, this is a Loungefly bag that I got from Stitch Shop by Loungefly. I will link them down below. And I did do a whole video unboxing that and showing the interior. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out because this bag is amazing. Underneath that, I just have some books and then my stamp collection. And then here is my pin collection. This is the majority of my pin collection. And I know I've said this before, but I am getting really, really close to finally doing my pin series. So it's coming guys. I'm sorry for being such a lagger. Then I just have some cute keychains hanging off of that. And then right here in the center, I have my magic carpet rug that I got from the Disney store. So that is the, sorry Brutus, oh, sorry Brutus. <laughs> that is the center shelf. All right, moving over. Last shelf, guys. So in the top here, we have more plushies. We have Lotso Hug and Bear, Mary Sanderson, my favorite sister. We have Buttercup, my Eeyore plush backpack, and my Hedwig plush backpack. Then we got some rainbow poop, cause why not? Those are my plushies. Moving down. So the way that I kind of have this setup is this top shelf is mostly male villains. So on this side, we have the Lion King Funko Box from Hot Topic and the Scar movie moment that came inside. Then last year for my birthday, Kyle got me the Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed three-piece Funko set. And then here my beautiful Scar Jim Shore that has the hyenas along his side. This is the first Jim Shore that I bought myself, um, for myself, <laughs> from Amazon. In the back there we have Captain Hook and TikTok, and that came in the Villains Funko Box. Then we have one of my newest Jim Shore purchases, and it is Gaston and Le. Fu. In the front here, we have Dr. Facilier and Louis Pops. And then in the back, my Dr. Facilier Jim Shore that Kyle gave me for Christmas. I love how you can see his shadow because, you know, Shadow Man. Um, and I know, obviously, Louis is not a villain, but I don't have any other Princess and the Frog merchandise besides pins. So I wanted him to go to, with Dr. Facilier. So that's why I did that. So that is that top shelf. Moving down, I have more villains. We have Hades and Meg. This is another one of my newest Jim Shores. And then in the front here, the Meg and Baby Pegasus Funko Pops were also given to me by Kyle for Christmas. And then I have my glow in the dark Hades pop. Again, kind of the same thing. I know they're not villains, even though technically she was working for Hades for a while. You know, anyway, it made sense for them to go together. Then when you move over, this is my Ursula, Vanessa, with a little bit of Prince Eric section because 
I love Prince Eric. He's my favorite prince. And I love Vanessa. She's one of my favorite villains. And if she wasn't such a bitch, I honestly think that they make a way better couple than him and Ariel, but that's probably just because I don't like Ariel that much. Anyway, sorry if you do, don't come for me. It's just my personal opinion. But so right here, we have my Eric, Ursula with Flotsam and Jetsam, and Vanessa Pops in the back there. This is my favorite pair of ears in my whole collection. They were custom made for me with, um, with by <laughs> Etsy just like we dreamed it so I will link her down below she painted these and they are amazing actually just got another pair custom made for a friend coming up in an upcoming box swap and she's just like her work is phenomenal she's a UK based shop but so worth the price over here we have a Vanessa um P, P Posket Q Posket I think that's what it's called um, Q Posket. I think that's right. And then Mermaid Blood Potion. Ooh, I'm not remembering the shop that I got that from off the top of my head, but I will look and make sure to put it on the screen and link it down below. In the back there is a beautiful print that was given to me by D, and it is Vanessa looking in the mirror, seeing Ursula's reflection. I'm obsessed with it because it's so hard to find Vanessa merchandise. Then we have my beautiful 10 inch Ursula Funko Pop that I got picked up for me from the Funko store in Hollywood. And I honestly never thought I would get a large Funko Pop, but it just made sense to me because she gets big in the movie. She becomes a giant. So I felt like it worked. So that is my Ursula, Vanessa, Eric, Meg, and Hades shelf. Moving down to my mostly evil queen, um, right here we have my um, evil queen, Miss Mindy, that Dee gave me. In the back there, that print is from Bubble Chick. I will also link that down below. And then Cruella in her car, Funko Pop, with some cute little poison apples. I got my poison apple cauldron popcorn bucket from Bippity Boppity Boxes. Then we have my diamond edition evil queen pop and the old hag mini that also came in the villains Funko box. In the front here we have Maleficent and then this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. It is the evil queen lounge fly mini backpack. I got that in my first Bippity Boppity box. And I have the Diablo keychain that came in the Villains box and the Ed keychain that came in the Lion King's box and then a Ursula pen. Then the magic mirror. This is actually a Christmas ornament, but I loved how it looked. In the back there, I have my Evil Queen magic band that I've never had a chance to use. And then this tall shot glass with another poison apple. So there is that shelf moving down to we have a few more villains and then hocus pocus so over here we have the hocus pocus sanderson sisters movie moments funko pop and then that plaque in the back says i put a spell on you and now you're mine then we have the I lit the black flame candle and I'm pretty sure all three of those items are from the spirit Halloween store. I know for sure the pop and the candle are. The plaque might have been from Michael's. I'm not 100% sure. Moving over, I have this shot glass set or as they like to call it toothpick holders. Yeah, right. It's shot glasses. Anyway, Binks is my boo. Goodbye, cruel world. Witches be crazy and a muck, a muck, a muck. Those were also from Spirit. Coming down, we have the Spirit exclusive Billy Butcherson Funko Pop. And then the Poison Apple coin purse that I got in my first Bippity Boppity box with my Evil Queen mini backpack. This is a limited edition puzzle piece villains El Capitan pin set. And then over here, I got this It's Just a Bunch of Hocus Pocus cauldron mug from the San Francisco Disney store. 
Then we have a glow in the dark mug or bowl. I'm not really sure what that is supposed to be used for, but I keep some of my pin backs in it. And then in the back there, we have the Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft Journal with a Mary Sanderson Funko Pop pen, both from Spirit. So that is my Hocus Pocus shelf that I leave up year round because it is always a good time for Hocus Pocus. Let me know if you're obsessed with Hocus Pocus too in the comments down below. So moving down, I have my one and only Harry Potter shelf. I love Harry Potter. I grew up with it, but I'm pretty picky when it comes to merchandise. So that's why it's such a small collection. I definitely prefer Disney. Like if I could only pick one, it would always be Disney, but I do love Harry Potter. So over here, we have my Hermione Sirius Black as Padfoot and Hedwig Funko Pops. Then the Danielle Nicole London to Hogwarts, Hogwarts Express ticket clutch bag. Wow, that was a lot of words. In the back there is the full set of the books from Target. Moving over, I have an advanced potion making journal from the Wizarding World. Then my Noble Collection Time Turner, my Sirius Black in his Azkaban outfit, Rock Candy. Can you tell I like Prisoner of Azkaban? Then a Night Bus um, Piggy Bank from Evangelines. Then I got this cute little love potion from Michaels. It reminded me of Amortentia, so that's why that's there. In the back, I have a Butterbeer mug from the Wizarding World and then Luna in her lion headdress pop, and the Hedwig itty bitty. I got these Spectro Specs and some Brutus hair from Evangelines. And then my favorite thing in my Harry Potter collection is this Gryffindor wand stand with my Sirius Black wand. Swish and flick. I love Sirius Black. So, that is my Harry Potter shelf. What's happening, Brutus? What's happening? Did I did I scare you? Huh? What's happening? Tell me. <laughs> okay, the very last shelf on the bottom, guys. We have my Pinfolio Pro Show that holds my favorite female villains, the Evil Queen, Ursula, Vanessa, and Maleficent. This is actually gonna be the first pin bag that I show in my series, so there's a little sneak peek. Then we have my Loungefly Hogwarts Eda bag from Box Lunch with my small Harry Potter pin collection. I have a video unboxing that and also a Harry Potter pin collection, so I will try to remember to link those down below as well. Over here, I have this reusable bag from Castaway K, and that holds all my pins that I have to put away in my cases. <laughs> and then in the front here is a message in a bottle from Castaway K. So that is the third shelf in my collection. Almost done. Over here, I have a mug shot of Scar that Vanessa from Disney Nessie gave me. So I framed that and put it next to my Scar section. In the top, we have some more shot glasses of the villain ladies. Sorry about the reflection. <laughs> Um, uh, underneath that is a charm bracelet. Oh my goodness, my words are escaping me because I've been talking for so long. This is a charm bracelet from Bradford Exchange that my grandma gave me, but it is way too big, so I put it in the shadow box so that I can still enjoy it. Moving down, this is a Danielle Nicole crossbody that my friend Ashley gave me. Then I have this really cute poison apple headband just sitting on top. And then this Diablo Maleficent staff is from Evangeline's Costume Mansion and I'm obsessed with it. It was like $14.99 and I think it is so cool. Then we have my Scar plushie, my hyena hat. Both of those are from the San Francisco Disney Store. And then a little Ed from Target. Down here are the pins I still have to show on my Instagram at Magical Martini. And then here I have my calendar for this year 
villains theme. And this is a really cute Minnie and Mickey clock that my stepdad gave me and made for me. And then, yes, I'm team Bernie, please. Just all love and respect here. I respect whatever your opinion is, but that is mine. <laughs> In the top there, I have a edit that my stepdad made for me of me in front of the Haunted Mansion, which is one of my favorite rides with a bunch of the villains. And yeah, this is my, this is my collection, guys. That's, that's pretty much it. What do you think? Let me know what your favorite items were or what your favorite shelf is. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you love Disney too. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you more than you know. And I hope that you all have the most magical day. Bye.